Hey guys, so I am working on this Knights 6 Arc LPR build, and right now I've got my 16-inch um, SR15 in the vise. Uh, it's actually, uh, I don't have it shown in the image here, but it's in a barrel extension wrench. And I was looking around on YouTube, and I could not find a video uh, to remove the Mod 2 gas system. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick video here so you can see how I'm going to do it. Um, I would note that I am not a Knight's Armament Armorer. I'm not an armorer at all. I'm just a guy in his garage, uh, but I am just trying to show you how, how the gas system works. And I try to get a good angle here so you can see everything and what I'm doing. But, um, you know, once I get everything out of the gun, I'll, I might be able to explain it a little bit better. So what we've got is I have already removed the muzzle device and I put a thread protector on. Um, but the next item that we're looking at, uh, we're needing to remove, is actually the, the castle nut that holds the gas block on. And you can see right right here, um, actually maybe maybe better seen in this little part of the M-lock opening, you can see that that is the castle nut that we need to remove. And there's a special tool that you'll need for that. Um, I don't think that Knights actually sells one, but I did find one from D. Wilson Manufacturing. It's a KAC Mod 2 wrench. And you can see it's got uh, the, the castle nut um, interfering part. And what I'm going to do here is run it into the barrel very carefully and engage those teeth there. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy breaker bar here and pop it into the end. And we're going to try and break that open. <sighs> okay. Perfect, there we go. Okay, and you can see that the castle nut is a little stuck on the teeth there, but there we go. Um, so that is the castle nut, okay? Uh, next, what I'm gonna do is on the, oh man, this is not really easy to see in this image here, but, but it might be a little bit easier once I get this out. Um, on the gas block itself, there are some, um, uh, I guess uh, I want to call them little teeth or little ledges that, that stick out. And I'm going to try to get uh, maybe an Allen key, um, it might, maybe a brass punch would be better um, to try and, and poke out those little teeth. Um, I might have to shimmy them back and forth. There's actually one on, on the very top and there's one down here on the very bottom. And what I'm going to try to do is slide in a, an Allen key or something um, so that I can um, give it a, a light tap with a hammer in order to, to pop it off. And like I said, I'm going to try and work it back and forth. But um, what I'm doing right now is just covering up these M-lock slots so that I don't, um, you know, kind of scratch them up as I put this Allen key through. Um, so the way that I'm going to do it is, uh, I think I can probably get it in there. Right up. Maybe, okay, more through there. I was going to try to come in through the back, but I think it might be better to come in this way. I'm going to stick this piece of tape on here. I'll take this other piece and move it to the other side. Again, that tape is just there so we don't scratch up the rail any as we're trying to bump it out. So the, the key is right now, it's actually, you can see I'm trying to push on it here. It's actually trapped um, on the gas tube side over, over on this side. And then it's trapped on the other side by the key uh, on the gas block. Not the key, the, that tooth on the gas block that I'm trying to push out. So um, we'll, we'll see if this can bump it loose. I have a uh, rubber mallet here. We're going to give it a couple taps and see if we can... See if we can pop it out that way. Okay. Oh, there we go. Um, so I actually see it moving right now. Um, oh, I think I scratched my tape up a little bit. Uh, didn't, didn't mess up the rail though, that's good. Um, so 
You can see uh, I kind of have the, the gas block started to tap loose. Um, I'm not sure I want to hit it anymore. Um, looks like it's loose enough. I'm going to see if I can maybe push it out with this brass punch or something. Um, again, I'm trying to be Oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay. I was trying to be careful not to scratch up that rail. Um, so there we go. That was easy. Easier than I thought. And you can see we've got a little uh, washer here that's going to come off. And then the gas block and gas tube. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, so there you go. You can see the two pieces. Um, you can see these two uh, lips or, or teeth or whatever that I was talking about that uh, I wanted to try to, to knock out. This uh, this area right here is the area that my Allen key went in between. I want to try to pop it loose like that. And now I have the gas block off and I am ready to start removing the uh, URX4 rail. So that was pretty easy. All right, so the next thing that we're going to look at here is removal of the URX4 rail. See, I put some tape uh, over where I want the uh, removal and installation wrench to go. This is actually a Knight's URX4 wrench. Um, these are pretty inexpensive. I think it was 30, 40 bucks, something like that. Um, so uh, you can see it's got this little plastic pad here on it. It'll push against the rail and this part uh, up top will lock into the Picatinny on top there. Um, so kind of kind of looks like that a little bit. And you can see I'm not using the reaction rod anymore. I am just using a upper receiver block in the vise. So put this guy on there and we'll see if we can pop it off. Cool. All right, so we got this bad boy free up. Uh, just checking to make sure that there aren't any extra shims kind of laying out in there. You can see that there are a few shims on here from the factory that I'm going to very carefully pull off. I'm going to keep those to the side just in case I need them when I reinstall my six arc barrel. And then this barrel should hopefully pop right out. So now that I've got everything apart, we can get a little bit better look at the Mod 2 gas system. Um, the First, let's, let's start on the very outside, the URX4 rail. Um, this is an M-Lock rail, but what's unique about the URX4 is that it doesn't have a, a barrel nut per se. Um, there are actually threads that are integrated into the handguard itself, so the handguard acts as its own barrel nut. And that causes some unique assembly and disassembly procedures, as I had shown earlier here in the video. It's a little bit different than disassembling a regular AR-15. Uh, moving up to the actual gas system itself, um, you can see that the gas tube, whoops. You can see that the gas tube is actually held on by a castle nut. Um, I have, uh, not a castle nut, just, just a regular nut up front here. Um, I have no reason to remove that right now. Uh, I do know that underneath, if you kind of pull this off, um, the, the gas tube itself is flanged and it sits onto uh, a conical uh, uh, piece here in order to get a good gas seal. So what's uh, unique about the Mod 2 gas system is that it provides a much better gas seal up here at the gas block than on a regular AR-15 gas system. 
Um, so there's no pin going through to hold the gas tube in. It's actually, uh, this, this nut is actually slid on uh, from the opposite end of the gas tube and it is threaded onto um, the gas block itself up here to create a solid seal up on the front of the gas tube. So um, just a little bit of trivia for you. Um, on the very front, you can see these teeth. Um, these are the teeth, uh, you, you couldn't see them in the earlier portion of the video where I was popping them out, but what I had done is I had taken a, um, an Allen key and I stuck them, or stuck the key in between this, this region of the gas block and this tooth on the front. And I, I didn't have to do it on the bottom, but I would have tried to, to rock it, you know, get it on the top, tap it a little bit, um, get it on the bottom, tap it a little bit, and, and keep working, you know, until the, the gas block slowly moved off. But just a couple of taps was enough to free it up, and then I was able to push it out with uh, that brass uh, rod. Now, um, in the interest in of full transparency, uh, after I got the... Um, the block loose. I had you had seen before that I had taped up, you know, these this region of the unlock rail so that I wouldn't scratch it up. I noticed on the other side though, erp, I got a little bit of a uh, mar there in the anodized. So um, that's not that big of a deal. I'll just sharpie over it when I use it again. But um, just beware. Uh, maybe you could use a brass rod or something like that instead of an Allen key. You might be a little bit smarter. Uh, but again, I'm not an armor. Just a dude in his garage probably doing it the wrong way. Um, but I'm just putting it out here on the internet so you can also maybe do it the wrong way or do it the right way. You know, choose how you choose your own adventure there, I guess. Um, so moving over to how it goes on the barrel, um, you can see that the gas block uh, still interfaces with the barrel here around the, the gas port, right? Um, but what's kind of unique about it is that we're not using pins to hold the gas block onto the barrel and we're not using set screws or anything like that. Instead, um, this gas block slides onto the barrel and uh, on, the, on the block itself, there's a, a tooth right up top here under the gas tube and that interfaces with uh, a similar feature on the barrel, cut into the barrel directly. You can see when we slide this over, like that, they, they actually made up pretty well so that it, it can't be turned the wrong way on the barrel, right? And then after that, they have a washer and they have the castle nut. And uh, the castle nut threads onto threads that are again cut into the barrel and you just kind of tighten it down that way. And again, the, the reason that it's done like that, I, I'm not sure which came first, the gas system or the URX4. I, I don't work for nights. I don't know what that R&D process was, but um, the way that the URX4 goes on necessitates that the gas block be installed after the handguard is in place rather than before. Um, so maybe maybe that's the reason that they changed the way that the gas system was done. Or maybe they changed the gas system first and then they decided uh, that they could do something cool with the URX4, make it a little bit lighter uh, by removing that barrel nut. So, um, you know, overall that's, that's kind of just a general overview of what the parts are there on this 16 inch um, Knight's Armament SR15 upper with the Mod 2 gas system. So, thanks for watching.